Hi, I'm Sherilyn, and today we're going to be replacing a defrost heater in a Maytag refrigerator. You may need to replace your defrost heater if your freezer is not cooling properly. This repair should only take about 20-25 minutes. For this repair, we're going to need four tools, a quarter inch nut driver, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a pair of needle nose pliers. If you don't already have a new defrost heater, they are available for purchase on our website. Before making this repair, make sure to completely disconnect the refrigerator from its power source. We can open the freezer door. Start by removing the ice bin. Then we can remove the wire shelf. Simply push up on all four corners, and then slide to the left to release the one side, tip up and slide out to remove the wire shelf. Next we can remove the ice maker, it's held in place by 3 quarter inch nuts. We'll start by removing the one on the bottom. And we just need to loosen the two on the top. Once those are loosened, we can lift up on the ice maker, lift it off the screws. And then we'll need to disconnect it from the wire harness. We can take a flathead screwdriver, lift up on the tab. And disconnect those and remove the ice maker. Next we'll need to remove this small panel on the evaporator tower. Just take your fingernail, pull that out, and set it to the side. Here's a quarter inch nut on the inside. We'll remove that. Now we can press in on the tabs on the outside of the tower. And once those are out, you can pull it out. Now we can remove the four screws on the evaporator cover. We'll take our Phillips head screwdriver to do that. Now we can gently pull the evaporator cover forward from the top. Just bend it in slightly to get it over the screws. And we'll need to disconnect the grounding wire from the evaporator cover. Just push that off. Slide the wire harness through. Bend it around the screws and remove it. The defrost heater is this black bar underneath the evaporator here. In order to get that out, we're going to start by unhooking the wire harness. It's located right up here and it has a tab that we need to lift up. And pull it apart, like so. There's also a retainer in the back wall here that needs to come out, so just pull that straight out. And there's that. Now the wire for the defrost heater goes up here and all the way around connecting both ends. So we'll need to unhook it from this assembly up here. This should just push out. I get kind of tangled in the other wires, so just make sure that's free there. And next we can remove this metal um, barrier here protecting it at the bottom. Since the evaporator is very sharp, I'm going to use some pliers in order to remove this. I just pull on one end of this here, twist it out. 
and we'll be able to slide the other end out. And put that to the side. Next, we're going to need to release the wire from behind the styrofoam pieces on each end. Um, this end over here is pretty easy to do. We'll just move this forward slightly until we can remove this wire on this side. Pop it out from the retainer. Push that back into place. This end is a little tighter. If you need to, you can remove that quarter inch knot on the bottom. But sometimes you can just gently pull this forward just enough to get out this wire. Be very careful with that there. And remove it from the clip. And we can remove it. Take your native defrost heater. We'll place it right back where the old one came out, in the top section here, um, under the under the evaporator, and slide those back into the retaining clips. We'll start with the last side we took out. Squeeze that wire back into the styrofoam. Very gently. Once that's back in there, push that back into place. Pull out the other end. I'm gonna watch that retainer clip on the bottom here. Make sure that's up top here, above the styrofoam. Put that into place. And make sure that that's properly in the retainer clips back there. It should sit towards the back under, under the evaporator here. And we can replace our metal protector here. Slide one end into the grooves. We can take our pliers and and we'll twist this back into place. So that should be pretty secure in there. Could replace the wiring. Hook it in to the clips here and through the channel. Another wire. And we can place that retainer. That back into the wall, push it in. And now we can connect the wire harness. And that clips into place like so. Make sure that the evaporator is pushed all the way back. Everything is secure. Wiring's all out of the way. And we can replace our evaporator cover. Now we can replace the evaporator cover. Connect the grounding wire to the cover. And then start threading through the wire harness for the ice maker. Push it past the screws.
And then make sure that fill spout for the water goes through the hole in the cover as well. And we can replace the screws. And there we go. And place your evaporator tower. It should line up with the bottom. And then press the tabs into the slots. And you can replace the screw. And pop the small panel into place. Replace the ice maker. We'll start by connecting the wire harness. Then we'll just need to make sure that the fill tube sits inside the water fill cup. And we can set it on the screws. Replace the bottom screw. And tighten down the top too. And that's it. Replace the wire shelf. It'll go in at the same angle it came out. Slide it into the holes on the left, lower down the right side, center it out, and then simply push it down into place. And we can replace the ice pan. And close the door. Finally, don't forget to plug in your refrigerator. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you found this video very helpful. If you don't have any of the OEM parts or tools that you saw in the video, all of those products are available for purchase on our website. Our goal is to show that the everyday person is completely capable of cheap and easy household appliance repairs. So please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, and maybe even show this video to a friend in need.